It's the grandson of the right thought. You know how somebody be, gets offended? They get offended when they hear certain words. They get offended when you talk to them. They get offended by the truth. <laughs> See, you know they're offended because it's true or else they wouldn't be offended, you see? Now, I know a lot of y'all in the world don't want the truth. You don't love the truth. You act like you do, but you don't. So, I know this message is not going to really resonate with y'all. But those who love the truth, who as y'all say Jesus Christ, who really love Jesus Christ, truly do. Not just with their lips, but with their hearts as well, see? They're going to resonate with what I'm saying. See, our God, I am, is the power. That's why we call him the most high. I am is the most high. That's where the power is. Now, there's a truth of I am, and you can try to make a lie of I am, but it won't work. <laughs> you can try, but it won't work. You see that? So... When people make lies, <laughs> when you tell them the truth, that's when the offense comes. See, a person that tells the truth don't get offended when the truth is told. Why would they? <laughs> Love rejoices in the truth, not in lies. It rejoices in the truth. So you see how the people, when the truth comes out, they get offended? Those aren't loving people. You know it. You know it's not because Abiyah's word already told you. They're not loving people. They're offended at the truth. <laughs> they would rather take a murderer instead of the truth. Isn't that what happened? Isn't it? And the thing is this. It goes to show they don't have no connection to I am. God. It proves that they don't. Why? 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 You're, like, you're like, how? How does it prove it? Because if I'm saying something that's not true about you, then why are you offended <laughs> if you say something about me that ain't true I don't get offended at all I just prove to you that you're lying I don't get offended by what you say because it's a lie <laughs> as long as I'm in the house I'm safe you can't do shit to me as long as I'm in the house simple as that <laughs> and if y'all know what the house is because I've told y'all what it is then you know what I'm saying. They can't do shit to you as long as you stand in the house. I am. When you know who you are, then what does it matter if a nigga says you're a dog? What does it matter if a nigga says you're a snake? What does it matter if a nigga says you're a motherfucking bitch? What does it matter when you know the truth? Why are you offended? It's because it's the truth that you're offended. <laughs> That's all it is. So where is Christ? Where is the truth? In the temple is where he is. See that? He's in his temple. <laughs> Speaking. And so when he speaks, you get offended. That's why Christ said, they don't hate you, my vessel. They don't hate you, they hate me. <laughs> so... While you're hurling it at me, it's really hurling it at him. The one that you say you love. That's why Christ told all of those people. He said, if you don't receive me, then you can't receive my father. The one you say that you serve. <laughs> because if you knew my father, you would love me and rejoice. That's what I be saying to you guys. If you're an Israelite, a true Israelite, then how come you don't rejoice when you hear a man who says he is your people stand up so ferociously and fight for your people the way that this man does? Why don't you rejoice? You don't love the truth? Because I'm telling the truth. So y'all don't love that? You're not happy that there's a black man that's telling you the truth? No? You black people? Y'all not happy about that? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? A lot of people profess to love uh, the truth. 
But when it comes out, you find out that they don't. Christ said, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. He's telling you that if you have kept his saying, then when the grandson speak to you, then you will keep grandson saying. Because it's no different than Yahusha saying. Now search back my videos all the way at the back when I'm driving in the car, sitting in the car talking to y'all. When I'm walking around in the street talking to y'all. Go back to the videos and see if that's what I'm saying. What Yahusha told you to do. <laughs> and y'all don't understand love, see the father, because y'all don't understand the son who came to reveal the father. It's so simple. And so since I know the simplicity of it, I don't waver when niggas try to hurl insults at me because I know none of it is true. I know none of it is true. And I have a sword that slices through all those lies. Slices completely through them. It's called the word of God. That's what I use to cut through people's lies instead of talking out of my own fucking feelings. I don't talk out of my own feelings ever. I always talk out of the word of God with feelings. My nigga, I am married to Christ. How are, what are you? Huh? What are you? <laughs> if you knew who you were, then you'd be saying the same thing I'm saying with great power, without fear, stuttering, stammering, speaking all quietly and timid. Um, yeah, I, uh, I love Jesus. And, and you don't know, see that shit. You see strength and power. Vim and vigor, <laughs> mighty strength, speaking this word with power. Simple as that. So I know that. So how am I let another nigga deceive me? How am I gonna let another nigga deceive me? He can't deceive me. He can't. And that's all he has actually is deception and lies. So when that shit doesn't work anymore, because I actually put on the armor Abba told me to put on. And I picked up my sword and I found out, what do you fucking do with a sword? I don't know why y'all so timid, Israel. I don't know why you're so scared to go offense. What do you have a sword for? I'm, I'm, I, uh, I'm trying to understand that shit so I can explain it to me. You're on the battlefield. I'm a hard fighting soldier and I'm on the battlefield. Right? So you're on the battlefield, he give you a sword, you don't never swing it. Then what kind of warrior are you? A dead one? Then you're gonna be dead, buddy. I learned to pick up my sword and swing that bitch with great accuracy. And pass the Spencer and nigga if he come at me sideways. Because that's what you do with a sword. Now, I know it's the word of God. So when a nigga come at me, I just throw a stri scripture right at his ass. Bam! Oh, I thought you would say that. So, how about this one? I throw another one. Bam! Oh, shit. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, you're done. It don't take more than about two blows on your ass. I'm upset when it take two. It only should take one. And most of the time, that's all it take is one little scripture. Did you read that? Oh, oops. Yeah, you didn't know that. So, shut the fuck up. Step on out of the way. Put that bandage around your neck and see if it holds your fucking head on because that bitch dangling is dangling. I'm supposed to feel bad because I'm great. What the fuck are you? What are y'all been niggas been eating and drinking? Huh? That's got your mind so full of shit. You are what you eat. So what the fuck y'all been eating? Because y'all ain't shit. Huh? <laughs> Y'all hear perfect truth come through and still be like, no, man, no, you're in error. And then the nigga proved that your ass was wrong and you're not even humble enough to say, you know what? Let me just stop attacking this brother. He keep confounding my ass. He keeps smashing me on top of the head with the word, with that sword in his hand. Some people just like to be punished, I guess. <laughs> Some people like to have their ass beat. And unfortunately, y'all, there are people like that. They like punishment. They are a glutton for punishment. Glutton means you can't get enough. They are gluttons for punishment. They cannot get punished enough. So I'm the punisher. So let me punish your ass with this truth. Because I'm not stopping or letting off the gas. I always say that and I never lie. 
So I'm not letting off the gas. I'm not slowing down. I'm not I'm not passing go out collecting two hundred dollars or none of that shit. I'm going right through to the finish line and I'm not stopping. I'm not looking sideways to the left hand or to the right hand. And if y'all keep sniffing around me, I'll keep crushing your asses because I enjoy it. I enjoy it because my fury shall uphold me until my garment is drenched in the blood of Edom. That's simple. The prophecy says it. Read it if you don't believe me. So my fury is greater than your fucking lies. Simple as that. I am a fine-tuned weapon and I am extremely accurate and I am extremely relentless. I have the energy that I need because I am energized. So it's futile to fight against the Most High Yah. If you fight against him, you will lose. Period. You will. And your pride deceive you if you think you can fight against the Most High Yah and his truth. If you think that, then keep on stepping on up and we'll keep on sending your ass down to the grave. Because the lake of fire is being moved up from underneath. It's being moved up for your wickedness, y'all. The more wicked you get, the more it moves up for you. Hell is moved up for y'all. It's coming up underneath your feet right now. And when it engulfed this earth, you shall surely fall into it because you reject all truth. You can't have some of it. That's called a forked tongue. So that's what you reptilians speak with. Half of it be the truth and then half of it be a lie. So we got to cast you out then because no liar shall enter the kingdom. So like I said, when niggas come at me and tell me I'm in error, but yet I prove them that I'm not, then that means that you lied on me. See, stupid ass bitch. That's what it means. I know how to judge righteous judgment. I don't just sit there like a spectator eating popcorn when shit's happening. I be paying attention. When you accuse me, then you lied when it comes out that your accuser was wrong. That means you bear false witness and lied. Those are commandments you're breaking while saying you serve God. Look how the stupid ass people are doing on this earth. So that's why hell is coming up for you and chasing you. Blood is going to chase you, niggas, because y'all love blood. So blood is going to chase you and pursue you until it consumes you. That's what's written in the Bible. So don't get mad at me. God says that. Get mad at God. You hate God. Hate him. You hate him anyway. It's written in there. <laughs> you hate him. I, on the other hand, love him because he loved me first. So I love him back. That simple. He said he was going to do this so that he could provoke his people to jealousy. And I'm jealous for my God. I seriously am. I have great zeal for him. And I'm not letting no dogs and nothing that offend enter into my gates with him. I am a prude wife. I am a prude woman. I am a virtuous woman for my husband. Simple as that. And none of you dogs can sniff on my blouse. None of you fucking dogs can come sniffing around my skirt. Period. Silwam Yisrael Allah.